Hello everyone. In last week's Filecoin meetup, we shared with you our vision for building a WordPress for NFTs, which is basically an open source NFT marketplace that is really easy to install and configure, that runs on VideoCoin network and stores the NFTs on the Filecoin blockchain. So we also outlined how this piece of software is open source and flexible with a permissible and easy to use license that you can use to deploy on any Ethereum compatible blockchain. So today I'm really excited to announce that the source code that we use to do the demos are all available and in, available in our public repositories. And I wanted to share with you what's available in the box and also take you through some of the stuff that we went uh, over in that in the demo um, and uh, see what, what and how you can do with uh, the repository that we just made public. So the uh, repository is available at um, on our uh, VideoCoin GitHub. And once you land there, uh, it's extensively documented. Uh, you, you know exactly what kind of um, uh, APIs you need and what configuration parameters that you need for, um, for textile, for example, and uh, you need Docker. All of that is um, extensively documented. One of the things I can take you through quickly is the Docker compose file. So um, the documentation explains all the components that we bring up so that the uh, local marketplace is available and up and running. But basically the Docker compose command installs Ganache, um, it installs Postgres, it installs, um, it installs Truffle, Truffle suits and pulls the contracts and installs it in. So what you get out of the box with, with the source code that we just now made public is a fully functional NFT marketplace um, built in Re React. Now, a lot of the uh, lot of the components that are not yet working, but um, because we're in pre-alpha, but at alpha you'll have all, almost all of the buttons working. And presently, only the creation parts are working. The sales, the bids, and, and all of those components are still not functional. You get MetaMask integration. MetaMask integration is already functional, so you you'll see and when you install it, you can uh, get into MetaMask. Um, there's the ERC 1155 and 721 contracts um, through Open Zeppelin available. The Waverin protocol available for, for you to um, support bidding and auctions and other smart contracts. It is OpenSea um, compatible. So presently, this functionality is not, is not readily uh, working in the demo app that you will see. But uh, as we hit alpha, you'll see all of these functionalities fall in place. Marketplace API. So the Marketplace API, most of it is already um, available, and you will see um, in the um, uh, uh, in the Swagger docs, you'll see the RESTful API endpoints. And um, let me bring that up. It's actually useful to see. Uh, let me just bring go here. So this is the Marketplace API um, that is documented and available in API docs. Um, and uh, that is public and available for you today. Um, and in the Docker Hub, uh, in the Docker Compose file, you'll also see um, that within the uh, within the Docker, uh, the NFT app itself also gets pulled and gets installed for you to uh, pull and run. And also, all the NFT contracts get deployed. Uh, you can see how the NFT contracts get deployed through Truffle. We've also included a simple block explorer that you can, um, after it's up and running, you can actually pull it up and see how it's how it uh, has installed. Um, like I said, the steps that you need to take to get the demo up and running is thoroughly documented in the NFT DevNet repository. But once you run Docker Compose up, uh, all of these components gets pulled up, and then you will see um, a marketplace like this one. Now, obviously, it won't look like this because in this I've uploaded a few files and connected it, uh, connected the wallet and everything. Uh, but uh, you will see that when you click on, when once you have your MetaMask wallet connected, and click, and you can actually uh, create a create a video NFT, upload it, and all of that. Um, so, if you have Textile properly configured, the NFT will also land on Textile, and uh, you will see um, a, a NFT landing page like this. None of these buttons work. The place a bit purchase and all of these are um, work in progress. Um, however, you can look at uh, the details on the uh, that we stored on textile, uh, sorry, using textile on IPFS. Uh, you can see how um, uh, how the data is itself stored. 
Um, in this case, all the JSON file, uh, which includes our proof of ownership, the file, the, the token, uh, the token details, and all of that is linked back into the IPFS storage. I've spoken about this in depth in the uh, meetup video. You can look at it. Um, but uh, all, of, all of this should be functional, and uh, right out of the box, you should be able to get um, to some of these pages as well. So in this case, you'll see some placeholders, but uh, you'll see all the creators, all the um, all the NFTs that I've created and, and our engineers have created. Uh, you can see that. Um, so you should be able to get a fully functional demo up and running. So one other cool thing that we've included in this demo is, um, is a proof of ownership uh, decoder um, method. So uh, here, you know, like once you uh, click on get DRM data, um, it basically pulls the DRM data that's available in IPFS for that particular NFT. So in this case, you know, like the DRM key here, um, it's barely visible. Let me zoom it in. Okay. Um, so this DRM key here is what um, this React app pulls in just for uh, uh, convenience purposes. And then if you provided the private key and hit decrypt data, you will actually get the um, the DRM key that was used to encrypt the video that is available here. So this is the encrypted video um, that says link encrypted. And the, and the repository tells you exactly how to use proof of ownership. Um, to decode the file and run it, so you can you can use the ffmpeg command, and then um, the um, uh, the playback will show you how um, the proof of ownership was established once uh, once you do the decoding and running. So that's it, folks. So we have uh, we have a fully functional um, uh, alpha product coming up in July, but until then, um, this is what we showed you guys last week, and all of that code is available. Uh, we really encourage pull requests. We really encourage any any sort of help that you can provide us through this process. We really appreciate any sort of help and support that we get um, for our product here, because just like WordPress uh, has millions and millions of people using it, also thousands of developers developing on it. Um, we uh, we think that like if we get uh, great developers like yourself onto the platform, our mission of creating a super resilient, easy to use NFT marketplace will be met uh, way easier. Thank you so much for watching.